Hello my fellow Christian fiction lovers, welcome to another video. Welcome to year two of this video. Last summer I did a video like great summer reads or books with summer vibes, something like that. I can't exactly remember, but I'm going to be doing it again this year. Only four books, but you know, I don't want to do repeat content because I feel like I've been talking about a lot of different books lately. So if some of those have some summer vibes to you, go ahead and check those out. But these are going to be some more like lighthearted books. Definitely still has some have some uh, thought and depth to them, but uh, they're all from four different genres and I'm just going to be going over them briefly and telling you why I think they would be fun to read this summer for you guys. I've already read them, but you know, moving forward. <laughs> Okay, first is Within These Lines by Stephanie Morrill. This book is about a young couple in World War II. The guy is a, a Japanese-American and the girl is Italian-American? Something like that. Yes, she is Italian-American. And they have a secret relationship, but because it is set during World War II and the guy is Japanese-American, he and his family are eventually shipped off to one of the uh, internment camps for the Japanese Americans because the US really persecuted the Japanese Americans during World War II after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So it's all about how they kind of stay in touch, have to figure it out, and then basically one day, you know, have to tell their families that they are in a relationship together. And it's really sweet. It does have some kind of tough areas in it, but I would say it is a more lighthearted World War II read. If you still want to get a war story in, there is no fighting. There's no one on, um, like, the war front, on the front lines, that's what it's called, uh, in this book. But I forget his name. What is his name? See, this is what happens when I only read ethnic names and never have to say them. I think his name is Tai Chi. Um, yeah, he has to basically like figure out life in an internment camp and basically America, the American government promises them all of these things and they don't receive all of these things and that's kind of the toughest part of this book is having to realize that our country did some pretty cruel things back then. I mean they do cruel things now but this was the cruel thing at the time. Yeah, I thought it was a super sweet story though and I really liked the female main character. She was a very progressive thinker and it was really cool. I just, I liked a well thought and well read woman being represented in a book, especially one that was set in World War II. But yeah, that's, that's a fun, not, not necessarily fun, but a more lighthearted wartime story. Next is Freedom's Ring by Heidi Chavaroli. This is one of the first ever Christian fiction books I read. It does have some traumatizing elements to it. It's a split time. The uh, present day character. She was, is a survivor of the Boston Marathon bombing and then the present or the past day character, historical character. Man, words are just escaping me today. Anyway, she uh, watched the, um, what was it called? The Boston Massacre? Yeah, of the five soldier or five Americans that were killed by the British in Boston back in 1770. So it's kind of like parallel of those two traumatic Boston events and how those stories overlap. I really like the present day setting and how the main character overcomes. Both women have to overcome, but I really like the present day story in this one. Um, it's a more... I, I kind of think it's lighthearted, but maybe it's not as lighthearted as I realize. But I think it's an easy read. It's definitely an easy read. I can fly through this book and like two days. Um, the story is not hard to understand. It definitely like, you definitely feel the character's pain, but I think one could also read it and ha put a little distance between it if, if necessary. Unless of course you survived something similar to that. That's then maybe not so much for you. But anyway, I really like this book and I like how the two timelines overlap a lot and uh, with what the characters are going through. Next is Dreams of Savannah by Rosanna, Rose, yeah, Rosanna M. White. This book I actually read last summer. It is a super cute Civil War type of romance. Um, definitely both of the main characters have to overcome some stuff, especially the guy. 
he goes through a lot to end up getting back to his hometown after he like goes to war and stuff but I really liked how the characters ended up together and like the different things they had to go through it's a very um classic story in that like there are all these obstacles in the way of them being together and then they have to overcome 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 and they end up together and the ending is so romantically sweet and I I know war like is not supposed to be romanticized but like this book kind of does that therefore it means it's more light-hearted definitely still the realities of war are present in this book but we don't focus so much on the fighting um, if that makes sense I don't ever really want to say a war book is romantic but I think you know what I mean it's a wartime romance before it is a wartime book <laughs> Okay, and then finally we have Love and a Little White Lie by Tamiel Gray. I read this earlier this year. It is a cute romance uh, about this girl who is not a Christian, but she basically gets a job at a Christian, or obviously at a Christian church. Churches are Christian in nature. Um, but she gets a job at a church and basically has a relationship with one of the guys there and like he finds out that she's not a Christian um and it's kind of like what will happen next and I mean it's just kind of her story of like coming to Christ in a way and kind of figuring out like what is this all about but there's also some cute romance in it and I really liked who she ended up with I didn't see that coming I thought she might patch up a relationship with a previous character but that didn't necessarily happen I don't think that's too much of a spoiler if you guys don't know who the characters are then I don't think that's really a spoiler. Whenever I hear someone talking about a book in a video, I'm like, oh no, it's over. I know exactly how it's going to end. And then like I end up reading the book and I completely forget like what it's even about. This always happens. It literally always happens. I will read a review that like blatantly spoils the book and I will still forget the main character's name until I start reading the book. So I apologize if I give away too much information. Let me know. But anyway, this is a super cute book. I really like it. And I think it's a very summery read. Um, okay, so these four books are my summer vibes recommendations. Um, definitely not as lighthearted as last year's recommendations, but they are um, they're thought provoking. So that's one thing I want to do this summer is have a more thought provoking summer. But yeah, so even just in my reading life, I really want to think about what I'm reading and take it in and not just have to read as many books as I possibly can. I want to thoroughly enjoy it. So while these are only four books, if these are the only four books you read or if you only read four books this summer, like that's an accomplishment. And that'll be an accomplishment for me too if I, you know, can break my average of three books a month. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's just, that was a freebie. I completely don't know why I said that. I did not have any intention of saying any of that. But here we are. I, I ramble on. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what's on your summer TBR, if you have some purposeful goals you're trying to achieve this summer, whatever it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video, whatever that is. Until then, bye!